welcome to episode 69. You're so fine. If I were on Reddit, I would say nice. <laughs> period. Nice. Period. Nice. Period. Uh, full st- <laughs> nice. Full uh, stop. Uh, nice. nice. Uh, of unqualified game chat. I am your host, Zara Lopez. And with me, as always, the bold, the beautiful, the brash. Mm, sometimes. Spencer, the legacy. Hello, everyone. All I'm the back. way to the elusive, the um, sensual. Oh. Episode 69. Yes, that is the weed number after all. So we're, uh, we're celebrating. We're celebrating. Uh, we had some ideas, but they kind of, like most things that we try to do, uh, didn't work out. Um, yeah, we so, weren't making a sex tape. I'm sorry. We weren't uh, doing that. It was along those lines, I'd say. I'd say it's along those lines. Um, so I just wanted to say, mm-hmm. I just wanted to let you know the first hentai game that I played. Oh my, okay. Gather round, everyone. Elder um, Lopez is going to tell you about pornography made in Japan. So I never knew, I never knew growing up as a teenager what... You're going to say my father. If I was going like, to lead my, that. So I never knew my father, so I was I, drawn to... <laughs> I never knew my father. <laughs> um, so, so I never knew, like... Um, I don't know. Hentai was pretty hard to acquire when you were uh, a child. You're always a child, a teenager um, growing up in the uh, early internet days, I should say. Mm -hmm. Um, Especially when you're on like LimeWire or Kazaa and you're just like trying to just Google La Blue Girl or something and get whatever. La Blue? La Blue Girl? You've never. uh, So so you're not a. You are not as hentai as I thought you were, sir. What's La Blue? La Blue Girl. Isn't that. That's like a very popular hentai about this. I've never experienced a hentai. In your entire life? No. Not an animated hentai? No. A video game hentai? No. A picture hentai? You've never. A picture. Maybe I've. Yeah, I've seen like pictures. That's about it. Like scrolling through Twitter, you've never seen anything? Yeah, yeah, I've seen them in that context, yeah. But I don't so, know what yeah. LeBlue is. It's just, You can Google it. I'd rather... Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. You can Google a Bible Black while you're at it. I've heard of that. Same, same. I don't know. Or is that Black Lagoon? I don't know. Black Lagoon's good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you would Google, you would Google it. Now I'm not talking about the anime though. I'm talking about the games. Mm-hmm. There was this hentai growing up though, that would always pop up and it was called immortal sisters or immoral sisters. Sorry, not immortal. That would be cool. Okay. <laughs> immoral sisters was a hentai about, uh, just these girls and their family, their sisters, essentially, um, and they get into some bribery and then, um, the mom has to pay off these debts and then the dad gets involved somehow. And then they all get involved. And it's a real, it's a huge love hexagon, but there's a game and I never knew there was a game until I think, uh, man, I must've been like 20. I never knew hentai games were a thing until I was about 20. And I saw that Immoral Sisters was a game from the 90s, I think. And uh, and I played it. And it was kind of lame. Oh, it's a shame. So <laughs> there's got to be more to this story. <laughs> That's all. Oh. I played it. You know what I thought was cool about those old hentai games is the, the yeah. sprite work. Yeah. So good. So good. They, good. they, yeah. Above and beyond, yeah. above and beyond. Um, and with that said, I want to extend the question mm-hmm. to our, to our listeners. Yeah. Um, what, what was your first hentai game? You know what? I, okay. So I never played a hentai game. I never watched a hentai movie, but when I was like, is, is there a reason I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not shaming you. No, I just never did. 
I didn't look at porn until I was like 18. Huh. I never kissed a girl until I was 18. No, no, no. I never, I never was with a girl until I was over 18. Like, wow. I was a pure boy. I was a pure boy too. I was wholesome. Very wholesome. wholesome. But I did look up when I was like 14 or 15. Oh, a Hancock one piece naked. So that was my, that was the extent of my hentai experience. I think I was like looking at like, like Jesse from Pokemon naked or something. I thought you were going to say Final Fantasy seven. It's just like this polygonal, like tertiary character. (laughs) no, I, I like when it came to like Final Fantasy seven, uh, fan art, uh, people usually stuck with, uh, Tifa and uh, yeah, it's true. No one really focused on Jesse. I played crisis core when I was like 13. I, uh, I think I've mentioned this on the podcast, but cowgirl Tifa was very attractive to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so with that said, that's my episode 69 story for you guys. My first, my first hentai was immoral sisters when I was like 20 years old. And I'm too much of a pure boy to have gone beyond pictures. You won't even read the script for Nope, Nope Nurses. And I've been pushing that back. Hey, I read a pretty fucking metal script. The one about being, uh, having prostitutes and keeping them from getting pregnant. I I read that. I I did trick you in. What was that? that I don't um, remember. I just remember the comment that said, Spencer, are you being paid enough for this? This is immoral. (laughs) And I was like, yeah, you got a point there. Uh, Uh, (laughs) I'm going to demand a raise. No, but uh, that the one, the recent one, the reason I've like stopped reading those mostly is currently I live at home and my recording room, not that far from uh, where my parents live. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to uh, articulate loudly about like literally the, the one that you mentioned uh, had multiple uses of the word ejaculate. Yeah. And uh I yeah. just don't want the questions afterwards. Mm, you know, even the yeah. door closed. You can it's hear on, me. The dinner table when you're reaching for the mashed potatoes. It's like, uh, yeah. Spencer, I heard you say the word clit- clitoris. <laughs> well, mom. Let me tell you. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a journalist. I got to make money where I am. Yeah. Uh, look at all those, all those famous voice actors who are in like hentai. Like mm. Dan Green from Yu-Gi-Oh. Isn't there like a famous hentai with him? No, I don't know. I don't. I remember I, reading a bunch of like four kids actors were in like hentai because you, you got to make money. I'm man. I'm not shaming them at all. Man's got to eat. Money. Man's got to eat. You know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, some other house cleaning. We have Anime Expo. Noisy Pixel will be there. A few of us will be there walking around the halls. We have some really cool interviews with some really cool people. Um, we can't wait to share with you, um, what those are and we oh, can't I wish I could come. Huh. I knew you were going to say something. I knew you were going to yeah. say something. Uh, with that said, I want to pass a question off to you listeners as well. Uh, PAX West is happening in September and Spencer and I mm-hmm. are contemplating yeah. having an unqualified game chat panel with a few special guests that I have in mind. Um, so it'll be fun. It won't be family friendly. Um, it'll be a little off the rails. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have some giveaways and stuff. Um, we'll give away a pair of Azario's boxers. I don't know about that. (laughs) We'll give away the ones he's wearing right now. Who you have to pay a little extra. You have to pay a little extra. Um, but yeah, let's not let's know that because it ain't a cheap flight. So if I'm going, I don't want to see three people in the audience who, who who tertiarily heard of us. I want to see thousands of fans screaming mm. with those the Japanese fan club headbands and light sticks. Mm. And everyone's dressed up as um, Organization 13 yes, characters. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what is um, a bunch of fucking we- weeaboo nerds. As, as, a, as a punk rocker, I should say I, I was, I was in a few bands. I would play for uh, five people and still have the same amount of fun. So even if two people show up, you better believe if there's two people and they like the podcast, that's cool. Yeah. uh, Well, uh, pedal backwards. 
Pedal so backwards. I'm not made of money. I'm a journalist. I can't afford all oh, these fights. Oh, this guy and his money, man. This guy and his money. Charge it, dude. Listen. You know what? Charge dude? it. That's that's not a good mindset. That's a bad mindset. Dude, that's all you got to do. Fake it till you make it. Uh, I, mean, I wouldn't follow that advice when it comes to finances. Mm. <laughs> Listen, I want to go. I do you got to you got to bet gotta, big to win big. I just got to look at my financial situation as we get closer. Mm. But I will probably be able to go. Um because I I wish I could go to Anime Expo cuz there's an exclusive one piece uh thing that you can go see. Uh There's a few one piece things. I think they're uh, I think Viz, I think Viz is doing something too. Will did say he would buy me one piece merchandise, so it's okay. So it's not a total loss. Oh, I, I wish I could be there. Yeah, well, I don't buy merchandise anymore. They kind of just give it to me. So, well, I haven't seen any of that merch on mm. my way, so mm. it doesn't even exist to me. I kind of just walk in and they they just throw it at me. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Please, your, your fucking humble brag message the please. other day. You're like, <laughs> man, they sent me a Sunbreak Collector's Edition, but I have it on PC. Darn. I would have to cut that out because I have been bargained. Oh, ex- oh, oh, wait, no, 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 no. Tomorrow's the 30th. Okay, there you we're go. good. There you go. You could say that. Fucking humble brag ass. You could say uh, that. Yeah, darn, I got uh, sent that. Life is so hard. I don't, have uh, the, I don't have the switch code. All I have is a PC code. Meanwhile, I'm rationing out our code. I'm like, all right, you have the switch one. I'll see if we can trade the PC one. I don't think we can, but I'll try. <laughs> Here's half of the code. I'll take yes, the other yeah, half. Is that, is that Mickey Mouse uh, John, Beanstalk short? Yeah, like yeah, he's cutting kind of, the, the. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. You have this portion. That's me. No. Um, but it is cool that you got the amiibo. That's pretty sick. Mm, mm. That's pretty sick. Nice big paperweight. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I don't, I don't need goodies no there is a no. brief period of time where for some reason bondi namco was sending me physical editions as well as digital ones and i was like this is pretty cool there was a time where they used to do that and i think they stopped they yeah stop. which is a bummer because they were the only people that sent me anything they did stop doing physical releases because it, <laughs> it used so to be excited. it used to be the companies would get the physical releases before the digital codes mm-hmm. and that's all in the past now where they they get the digital codes on time. I just remember um, they sent me um, Nino Kuni 2 with a Funko Pop. Who? yeah, I remember that. And that was a big get for me that I got something in the middle. I was like, wow. I think the coolest one that I got from them was Dot Hack GU. And I was just like, ah, the, the remake, the remaster one. Yeah. I thought I just loved having it. I'd love that there's a physical release of that. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway. This podcast is recorded every week and posted to podcast services on Thursdays um, on Spotify's YouTube's. We should uh, we should make an unqualified PO box that people can send just the worst shit to. And then we won't, and then after one opening video where we get actual like garbage, we'll never do it again. I um, I've seen how it turns out with I dubs. I. I would think Todd B would send some pretty disturbing things. Yeah, like a uh, rat. Yeah, stop and fire. That's stop and it. fire. Here's your send mention. Some, Here's your shit. mention, boy. Send some cool shit. You and then let's just let's just reiterate that I mentioned Todd B and stop and fire. Okay, not Spencer. All right, so I'm so giving the shout outs today. You're so antagonistic. Where I'm giving the shout outs. I'm giving the shout outs today, bitch. Justin Anime. Lazy. Uh, Let's go. Who has the earthbound picture of the crow? You're gonna look him up. I know. I know you. I don't know your name. While you're uh, looking, while you're looking that up, uh, today's the ARNA. Yeah, it is. Land of the month. All you motherfuckers better be excited. Yeah, you better. Bow, bow, bow. Turn up the <laughs> bass. Yay, Fortnite. Wait, where's? Did I not like episode sixty-eight yet? Hmm. Where That's is it? Uh, really upsetting. Where is it? I don't know. It's up where, to where, it, where are the? I hate up, the cuss, but where are the H E double hockey sticks is it? It's up to it's up to you to find. Oh, it. it's play the audio. 
It's up to you. No, to I don't want to hear me. <laughs> you have to. You have to uh, pass. So. You have to pass my pet. My tests three. <laughs> Oh, there it is. The one where you talk about fighting that. Either. I did like it. Why was it on there? Mm. Um, um, did Todd B change his name? Yeah, Todd B yeah. changed his name, but he's still Government t- fat cat. He changed it because he was probably being problematic on another uh, channel. Yeah, Todd B and his all right dog whistles. Uh, <laughs> that's com- I don't know. That was just character defamation. I apologize. It was funny. It was a good bit. But I, I don't know anything. I, don't, I just thought that was funny. I am not accusing anybody of anything. Oh, I love it. I love uh, it. I, I can't find the, 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 earth, the mother one person. I'm sorry. Someone called you nice today or something like that. Someone what? said said Someone, someone said some. I don't know. One of the podcasts, regardless, let's get to say, let's no, to I here. need to see the compliment right now. I don't I need, know where it is. I can't I need help my you. endorphins. I can't help you. July 5th. Mm-hmm. And America theme song. And as America is putting out a, a escape room shmup meets visual novel. The game's called Yuru kill the culmination games. This game is, uh, is about 21 people. You play as a protagonist who is forced to fight for his freedom and prove his innocence. As one of six prisoners, he must pair up with one of five victims referred to as executioners within the confines of the strange and secluded amusement park known as Eurokill Land. So you have so the killers have to work with their victims to uh, to get out of these uh, kind of. Uh, attractions as they're called um and then there's a shoot 'em up portion where uh you can um fight the the victim or someone else to finish one of the gameplay areas i'm going to say yay because i played the demo and i actually kind of liked it sorry i wasn't paying attention i was looking for my compliment uh, no yeah i heard all that i'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to say yay. I know. Fun. I do know you were looking for a compliment, you freak. No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. It's not like you. I'm constantly abused here and need any shred of positive validation. Oh, here. my God. I'm going to say yay all the yeah, way. That sounds pretty uh, freaking sweet. I like how there's people killing each other. That's cool. Yeah. That's I love when people kill each other. July 8th, a blast from the past. Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series comes to uh, consoles, comes mm-hmm. to everything. Mm-hmm. Everything's getting it. Klonoa is back. This collection includes Klonoa Door of the Phantom Mill and Klonoa 2 Lunatis Veil. What terrible uh, sub uh, text there. Door to Phantom Mile. No wonder these games sold like trash and now they're $400 each, huh? I uh, mentally, for a second, I confused Klonoa with Toomba. Tombi? Toomba? I forgot uh, what it's called in North America. Toomba. Toomba. It's Tombi in Europe. Um, so my cool contribution was going to be, <laughs> remember the guy who said, I'd really appreciate it if you'd be quiet right now. Uh, <laughs> but Klonoa is different, so I have to yeah. cut that. So I have to think. I think I already told my Klonoa story where I saw someone on GameFAQs say it made them cry. And that's the only knowledge I have of Klonoa. You know what sucks about Klonoa? And it's what I hate about YouTube in general nowadays. These yeah. fucking retro nerds on YouTube. And they're just like, uh, some of the the uh, rare games, the rarest games, Klonoa. And they just keep they just keep fucking like every obscure list has Klonoa on it. And it's like Oh, just the the common, like everyone's making content. So you're getting a ton of overlap. Yeah. So, and then that just keeps the price going up every time metal Jesus rocks metal mentions this like 10 go up on sale for like $700. My favorite thing to hear in every YouTube video ever is Sonic had a rough transition to 3d. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks for telling (laughs) that. It it makes me, you know, uh, you know what I hate about a lot of game reviews and a yeah. few people on staff do this too. Uh, when they write, when they review a horror game and they're like, 
I love the horror genre or I love survival horror games. Every, every horror review that they do, they're like, how many times are you going to tell us? Yeah. Like you don't like, we're not testing you. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to tell I get us. to an extent. Like I do the classic here. First paragraph context. So if I'm reviewing, like say mm. like final fantasy, I'll be like, I've enjoyed final fantasy since I was like 13. I've played all that way. When people read it, they go, okay. So this review is coming from someone who, knows it on the same hand i'll be like uh i've never played klonoa i only heard of it from a game facts post where a guy cried about the cat uh so that way they go oh he's never played it so i get it to an extent but it probably should be more than just i love horror games yeah yeah like i don't more like the horror genre uh has appealed to me since resident evil one like yeah but how many times can you say that though that's true. I just assume every review is being read by entirely new people. So that's why. Oh, no. I know that the people who read my reviews mm-hmm. read all of the my rider dies. Yeah. They're like the there. They're like they're there. there. Uh, I used to write for I Operation. I used to write for Operation Rainfall. Yeah. A long time ago, ages ago. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was a they, fetus. But they removed my um, author name. Yeah. That's happened to me at a couple sites too. And so now it all, it says like, it says like contributor on there. And I'm so mad. I like when they add to the bottom, this article was originally written by. And then you go, all right, thanks. I wish they even did that. I yeah. Occasionally they forget. Because now I can't even put it. I can, can't even put that on my LinkedIn. I ain't going to name names though. But I, that's happened to me. Mm, I named the names. I'm not going to drag. I'm coming. I think I still like Operation Rainfall on Facebook from when they uh, did. Uh, when, were they the ones who were originally doing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles? But before that, were they doing Last Story, Type Zero, Agito, or was that a different That's project? Different. They did Last Story, yeah. um, Pandora's Tower, and. Um, Oh yeah, they did do. I remember liking them for that. I think. And Xenoblade Chronicles. Who was the one? I don't see them on Facebook anymore. Maybe they. They, uh... They're still around. They're still around. Oh, Operation Rainfall. I wrote Project. Um, They're still still around. around. Uh, I I don't remember. Okay, yeah. Um, That does suck though. Can't put on your LinkedIn. Can't. uh... That's no good. So Klonoa? Yeah, uh, I say yay. I, I want to see why I made that man cry. Mm, it's a good platformer. I'll say yeah. yay because it is it is a decent platformer. Yeah. Kind of has like puzzle elements to it. Nice replay value because if you, you can go through the level and miss a few things, then replay the level and like do different paths. Very cool. I um, like. So I'm going to say yay. Yay, yay. Um. One second, my god damn. You're going crazy back there. Hey, listeners, it's me by myself. I don't get a lot of time with you guys. So I just want to say, Zarya's keeping me hostage. I haven't wanted to do this podcast in 60 episodes, but he has my IP address and he got my information from when I was docked for E3. Please call the police. Hey, man, what's up? He's chewing on a Gatorade bottle. <laughs> cool, dude. So moving on. There's a lot of little baby games there's a game on july 12th called the time on frog island i would describe this game as collect-a-thon the game you play as a character who crashes on a island um, full of frogs and it's pretty sweet and you have to find a way off but to get off the island you have to complete different tasks but throughout the day the tasks kind of change um and you explore the island um so like if you pick up a if you if like maybe two maybe somebody would someone's trying to um to fo- to like meditate and there's a bell ringing you know yeah. so you go and stop the bell um but oh, okay. but the church man needs the bell so you just stop the bell and now so the one guy's happy but the other guy's upset that you stopped you know and you have to like yeah do stuff like that which kind of it's cute I'll say yeah. That sounds cute. I'll say yeah. I like frogs. I'll say yeah, because I like time. <clears throat> what a good combo we are. 
I'm going to give it uh, five bags of popcorn and a little uh, one of those uh, calculator watches. Oh, so, so you can uh, so you can uh, right, do the math as you're yeah. uh, progressing. I give it five bags of popcorn, two cups of soda and a little frog keychain. that When you squeeze it, it makes his throat go out. Oh, yeah. that's cute. That's cute. Um, some other some other games come out. Uh, Fist, Forge, and Shadow Torch, which is already available. It's coming to Switch. I'm gonna say yay. I'm gonna say yay, but probably if you want to play the best version, you might want to play it on uh, PS5 or PC. Yeah, I'll say yay because I feel like you'll be mad if I don't. But I've never played it, but I know you like it a lot. So oh, I, that means I'll probably like it. Oh, it's such a good game. If if you just so it is on Switch, so you. I mean, play it on your play on your way to to wherever you go. I don't know where you go during the day. I go nowhere. That's the, just, uh, just stay home all day. Must be nice. You, you do the same thing. You work from home too. <laughs> what do you mean? Must be nice. <laughs> must be nice. Uh, the next day, July thirteenth, Room Factory Five comes to PC. I know a lot of people are waiting on this one because uh, it's supposed to be better than uh, the Switch version. Hmm. I'm saying, wasn't there wasn't that one performance issues? Yeah, and they or never like fixed it. Review. It was like a year into that game too. Like, like it was released in Japan and it didn't come west for a long time, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you would think that they would have fixed it. They didn't. Yeah, I think it came west during my internship, right? So that was like early this year. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna skip to uh, July nineteenth. I'm gonna say meh because I'm not a huge room factory guy, but it's fun. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say meh. Yeah. I'm gonna say meh too. I'm with you. I'm gonna skip ahead to July nineteenth. It's a little kitty cat game. Game's called Stray. I think Annapurna's putting it out. Um, a lot of people like Annapurna games. They seem to have a good uh a good grasp on the the double a market the quirky cell shaded double a games yeah at first i thought thq nordic was was really um supplying the the double a niche yeah. but uh, but you know thq nordic is kind of putting out trash they're like the netflix of games right now like you know how netflix has a ton of movies coming out but like they're simply movies that are in production hell and they just like paid like fifty thousand dollars for them you know mm-hmm. and are i think talking shit about tall girl two is that it's a, a real... story of a tall girl <laughs> the i second watched one? both of them with my friends <laughs> are you serious yeah it's literally a high school girl who's tall and that and she's prejudiced against because of her tallness and there's two of them there's two of them holy shit i know but now i will and I will. Um, so I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to knock THQ Nordic down to. Uh, is there a is there a single A? Would you say there's like an A? a? Never heard of like indie. Yeah, but they're not even indie, right? Like, so I wouldn't call SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated. Yeah. So I guess A and a half. A and a half. A and three quarters. Yeah. Um, so I would say like Annapurna, things like Annapurna Active, um, Focus, Focus uh, is really putting out some good games too in terms of um, Double A. Who would be Double A for me? Um, that's tough because it's kind of like disappearing. Mm. <laughs> like everything seems either indie or triple A now. Mm. So I'm trying to think of like what what games, what recent games were like Double A. I don't know. Hmm. It's an interesting thing to ponder. Like that Kenna game. Oh, yeah. You ever play Kenna? I didn't play it, but I think... Or I uh, a Plague's it. Tale. Uh, mm. You ever play a Plague's Tale? Is that the one with the rats? Mm-hmm. I have a... <laughs> I have a did I tell the, the Plague Tale story yet? No. Did they, as, a, as a press thing, did they give you the plague? And then you have no. to, like... If only. I, uh, it was my first D3 in person and i was like i had gone really hard for like two days straight so far 
and I had never done that before, so I was fucking tired. Uh, plus, like the three hour difference doesn't seem like much, but you feel it when you're working for two hours, two days straight. Not for two days straight, not two hours a day. <laughs> yeah, just two days straight. Um, and we went into for people who've never been to E3, we went into the the there there's like big open areas and then there's these little like man-made booths that you like open the door and you go in and it's it, they give like little presentations typically like demos closed door stuff and we went into that and it was dark and it was hot and it was long and i fell asleep <laughs> and i felt so fucking bad my my boss is will austin laughed at me i felt so fucking bad because I really hope the devs didn't notice because it was a moderately big crowd and we were in the back, but I, I fell asleep because I, I was so tired and it was so dark and warm. And uh, that's my experience with Plague Tale. I feel so horrible about that. If you if you guys are watching devs, I am so truly sorry about that. Do you guys, do you guys typically mob deep in groups to these events, to these meetings? Like the three of us? Yeah. No, typically we split up. This one was like the three of us. Oh, <laughs> Was, yeah, I, I always I always like, hated I always hated doing two person things or three person things. I like oh, really? I'm, I'm like alone. It. I'm a lone ranger. I'm a lone wolf. I like it. I like doing it all. I I like being on my own. Get away from me. Do your own thing. I'll do my thing. We'll we'll come back later. We'll we'll meet up later. That's fair. I like doing both. Mostly because A, mm. I don't get to see all my, my press friends because I live in the great white north. Where it's uh Snowy I don't like being time. on anyone's time though, because sometimes they want to do something and I want to do something. I don't want to be in control of their time. Uh, see, that's the thing. I, I don't care what I do. I just go with people. I'm like, when I'm, when I'm with the boys, you know, you're with the boys. Uh, I'm like, they're like, do you want to go here for dinner? I'm like, yeah. They're like, do you want to go check out this store? I'm like, yeah. And I, you know what? I don't mind it all because I'm just there to hang out with my friends. Mm, and I think I you need them, to get, I, like I think, I think you really need to get better at setting up your boundaries. I have boundaries. Yeah, well, that's what you say now. I'm an event slut. It's gonna, it's gonna bite you in the ass, just like this game Stray from Annapurna Active and Blue Twelve Studios. It's a yeah. mess for me, dude. It's, it's. You know, I, I, it looks I, boring. I'm so, I'm so interested because people are like loving it because look, you play with a cat and you jump on things and meow, meow, meow. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. I played as a mosquito in that Mr. Mosquito. Hell game. yeah, that game really. And that game was fun, but this one just takes it. Takes kitty. You stuck as, on a boob in that game. In a can, bathtub level. You can. You don't have. They don't. They don't make you. You don't. Yeah, I'm sure every 13 year old boy who played that said, "No, I will go for the shoulder." That's a game I'll stream one day. That's a fun I would, game. I would love to be on that stream. That's a fun game. I would love that. That would rule. Um. And tulip. We should also stream tulip. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I try and get your kiss. I suck at that game. I also suck at that game, but I think it's really charming and weird. Yeah. 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 Cause you could definitely do the wrong thing. And then if you make the wrong choice, you get the terrible endings. Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna say meh for stray. Yeah. I'm gonna say meh. It's not really meh. It looks cool, but I don't, know. I don't know. It seems like everyone's trying to avoid July because the end of July, but the end of July is like, Oh, the end of July. Oh my God. It's just <laughs> packed. It's just packed. We <sighs> have July 22nd, a little game called the Live Alive HD 2D remake. Yeah. What a, yeah. What a terrible name. I hate HD 2D. I, like I hate that. Um, you ever play Live Alive? You ever know about it? I never, I, I've, I'm sure I've downloaded like the translated ROM like three times and never played it. Um, it's kind of an interesting game. But I'm excited for it just because uh, I remember reading about it years ago and being like, that's a really cool concept. Too bad we'll never get an official release. And then they announced it. And I was like, oh, sick. So I'm I'm down. I'm excited it's, for it. It's, it's a yay from me. It's pretty much Octopath Traveler. I never played Octopath. I played uh, Triangle Strategy. But I, never I don't even know Octopath. if, uh, you know, today I don't even know if you're a real gamer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I didn't play Octopath? It kind of makes me question, like, do I, after 69 episodes, do I really know who you are? Listen, I've played so many effing games. You don't even know how many. Mm, games. Well, you haven't, you, you haven't played Octopath. I played, 
a lot of games actually. What's a game that You're you older put, than me? What's a game that you played that you regret playing? I think we did a whole episode about that. Um, no, just, just one. I don't think we did. Just one did. game that you played that you regret playing. Uh, Past Cure. Did you ever play Past Cure? No. It was not good. I played it for review, and it's one of the only games. One that I you did. didn't play for review. Oh, like that was that bad shooter game, right? Yeah, I played. That's probably one of the only games ever where, after beating it, I was upset that I spent time playing it. Yeah, they hated it. this guy's like. I was at Dual Shockers at the time, and those guys like I think we gave it the lowest score we've ever given a game, and um, they hated us for it. Really? Yeah, they like it sent us. Not- they sent us emails saying like we didn't know what we were doing and stuff. I didn't review it. Uh, I think Logan did. Oh, that looks terrible. Um, a game that you hadn't reviewed that you just regret playing. That means I have to go back like seven years. Because Honestly, I regret playing hyperdimension Neptunia. The first one Whoa. changed my life, changed my life, but it is a terrible game. Oh, uh... I regret playing. You know how annoying. Know, like, you know how weird. annoying yawns are. Fuck off. Who cares? You know how annoying. Oh, he's still doing it. He's still. It... Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Pee Wee Herman yawn. <laughs> um, I uh, I'm trying to think of a game that. Because even like shitty, like, like I played the game, like, do you remember like the mid 2000s King Arthur movie? I played yeah. like the GameCube game of that. And oh even then, God. like, I have fun memories of playing shitty games with my friends. So I wish you I mean, regretted, like, I wish you regretted playing Shinmu. Shinmu is not a good game. No, Shinmu is actually a masterpiece. As you can see in my YouTube video on Ace Bonanza, Shenmu, the weirdest masterpiece. Live alive. Yay or nay? Yay. 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 I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Um, Another fun game. Yeah. Oh my gosh. July 28th is crazy. July 28th is a wacky day. You have Azure Striker Gunvolt 3. Yeah, yeah or nay? I don't care about that one, but. Are you serious, dude? I don't know what that is. I'm a, a resounding yay. That's a meh. I don't know what that is. No, what about, I, I've heard of it. I've just never played it. You're a terrible person. Like you yeah. think you're you think you're indie, but you're not indie, and you never, never will said be. I'm indie. You said you're indie. You I've said, never said I'm indie. You said I'm Spencer, indie boy. I'm indie I'm boy a Spencer. I'm triple A slut. I'm indie boy Spencer. I've Ever- never said that. Yeah, you, that's how. That's what you. I said. rarely play indie games. Hmm. And that's hmm. not even like an a, like a, I don't like them. It's like it a sounds I, like I, you, I just sounds like you have something against indie games. If it doesn't cost more than thirty dollars, I'm not playing it. <laughs> You think a journalist with a journalist salary has that belief? You think that no. you, <laughs> when's the last game you actually bought Spencer, the legacy uh, today, I bought two games off the sale on the PSN. What games? I bought snake pass. Cause that looks fun. It's a fun game. And I bought the Mega Man ZX advent collection. Okay. 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 Because I've never played those ones. Those are the only Mega Man games I've never played. Okay. And I bought the Mania DLC for Sonic Mania because I have it on disc, but I have the base game on digital. So I have to take the disc out every time I want to play because they transferred it over to Mania Plus. Mm. And I said, you know what? I'll spend $3 to not have to put the disc in. Mm. Those are what I bought today. But I'm also looking at Valkyria Chronicles Remastered because I never, I played the demo years ago for the original, but I never played the full game. But people like it. It's your striker gun fold three resounding game. It's a meh for me, dog. It's a little American Idol reference for 25 year old viewers. July 28th. Yes. Is a uh, Vesteria saga Two: the sacred sword. I also don't know what that is of uh, Sylvanister. It is actually a game by the creator of fire emblem. Oh, uh, by Kaga Kaga. He does it. So he this game, a, this game you saga too. Yeah, this game used to like have like a, uh, a Fire Emblem tagline, but they had to change it. I think they were going to get sued or something. Wait, didn't wasn't there like legal issues for tearing Saga Two for Fire Emblem? Why does he keep doing? Why does he keep doing that? That's really he funny. thinks it. Maybe he thinks it's funny. Anyway, yeah, the first one's really good. If you haven't played it, it came out uh, like Bo. 
before the last PAX West, the, before the, the two, yeah, 2019 came out. It's a really good game though. It's on steam. Check it out. Like I, I, I had a lot of fun with it and you know, it's the stereo saga and it sucks. Cause I, I was, I was so backed up with stuff back then that I never wrote the review, but I love the game. I should really, uh, the I, saga. I do hope okay. to, um, All right. I do hope to, um, play this play this one i don't know what the hell this game is but it's a yay, who, then. oh yeah it's a yay i don't know what the hell this next game is but on july 29th <clears throat> going up against two heavy hitters is yeah. a game called rim world oh don't people love that it says a sci-fi colony exists on a butthole no it does it <laughs> no it does it and two yeah. adventures we're both set, that, two adventure Two adventures set out to explore the anomaly. Anomaly. The anomaly. The anomaly. The anomaly. I saw the uh, the Seth Syntax video about that game. Um, Rim. It's Rim uh, it's made in Montreal in my home country. Oh, that's why it's gonna be a nay. Hell no, Wrong. because lots of good shit comes from Canada. That day, like me, Xenoblade Chronicles three on Switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a it's a yay. It's a yay. It's I'm a gonna yay. try and get the special edition tomorrow. I already bought it in my head. I'm thinking in the future. Uh, oh, I already bought it. I used my observation hockey to purchase it in advance. I got to save the Monado. This is the Monado's power. <sighs> you see in Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, they have an NPC voice by, what's his name? Something Howden, Adam Howden. Shelk, Adam and he's like, oh, I love this music. I'm really feeling it. And I was like, oh, that's cute. That's nice. <laughs> I um, had that game turned down very low when I was playing through it. But it has Star Wars music. Um, yeah, but I was watching Secession at the time. Oh, I've never seen that, but it has Wallace Wells from Scott Pilgrim in it, so it's pretty good. Yeah, you should watch it. Secession's I a good show. It. I got a million shows I should watch. All right. You just put it on. I only keep up with like three shows. And what are those shows? The Boys. I've never seen it. The Boys is pretty good. It's really cynical. But it's I saw really the good. first episode where the girl died or something. Yeah, it's a good show. Uh, I keep up with... Well, I guess Kenobi's over now, but I kept up with that. Oh, I only uh, seen the first two episodes. It, it had, watch the finale. Everything okay. in the middle is kind of lame, but okay. Should uh, I watch Boba Fett too? Oh, <laughs> Boba Fett's a very messy show, but the episodes that are entirely about the Mandalorian are good. So okay. Just like three of them. Um, I still enjoyed it for what it was, and right now I'm keeping up with Miss Marvel, and that's actually quite delightful. Yeah, you saw they got a nine. But if you don't give that, if you don't give it a nine, then you're a misogynist. Uh oh, uh oh, uh-oh. here comes, here he comes. Here All comes. I'm saying, Black Panther. Here comes not Gamer that, Gate Azario. Not that good of a movie. What movie? Black Panther. Not that good. It was fine. I. It was fine. I liked it. It's a ten out of ten. Fine. I wouldn't call it a ten out of ten. I, I don't know if I'd call any Marvel movie a ten out of ten. Maybe. Iron Man maybe 2. like the first Iron Man. No, Iron Man 2 maybe is Winter really Soldier, good. maybe Guardians of the Galaxy 1. You just said I wouldn't give 10 out of 10 to any of yeah, them. And then, you, and then you quickly named three back to back. Those are all maybes though. Like I, I, even then, I don't know. I don't know what movies I would give 10 out of 10. Like Back to the Future, Evil Dead 2. I don't know, South Park movie, Aladdin. There Will Be Blood. Oh yeah, I still have to watch that because remember we looked it up live and it wasn't on any services in Canada. Oh yeah, that sucks. Armageddon. Um, Armageddon. Don't want to close <laughs> my eyes. That's a funny movie. Don't want to fall Robocop. asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. It's even when I dream of you. Well, we've sung that on the podcast, too. I don't know if we have. We have. Oh, no. We sang Kiss from a Rose. Yeah. Same, same. Um, Batman forever good good movie not a 10 out of 10 remember the cups from mcdonald's for <laughs> I, I looked them up on ebay the other day you can buy them all up for like 20 bucks that fucking rules i'm gonna do that yeah and i'm gonna buy all the hercules plates don't tell metal jesus rocks because he's gonna fucking talk <laughs> about them and then they're just gonna go up <laughs> ah, and press uh, um, that rules <laughs> so um 
Anyway, Zenblades are yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but that same day, <gasps> again, already pre-ordered. Oh, me too. D- 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 Digimon. Digimon. <laughs> Digimon. Digimon. Angelamon. Digivolve 2. Guys, remember that? Remember that? The beginning of the Digimon movie, the Angela Anaconda section? Remember that? From the Canadian cartoon Angela Anaconda? Remember that famous green text about the guy the guy whose parents got divorced because of his parents were they were it's something like his parents were already like fighting all the time and then they to to try and like have a fun time as a family. They went to the Digimon movie. It started the Angela Anaconda intro and they thought they were the wrong movie and they yelled at each other and then they divorced. <laughs> Fucking rules. Do you Love think, that movie. Do you think Digimon Survive is going to make us cry? Oh, it'll absolutely make it. The trailer borderline made me cry with the music. Digimon has a straight thorough line to my heart. Why do you think they went this direction? They didn't have to do this. Um, Digimon's always been pretty emotional. No, 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 no. I'm saying they could have easily gave us another Digimon Rumble, another Digimon World, or another Cyber Sleuth. Yeah, that would have been Um, easy. They did not take the easy route with this. It was in development hell. I think because they, uh, it's not a Pokemon situation where they're like anything will sell. We'll just, we'll just like the where there's not. It doesn't seem like there's as much passion with Digimon. You know, it's very much like they try new stuff all the time. They, I, I mean, maybe that's just because I'm a Digimon simp, but I, I do respect that, and uh, I think that they chose to do this just because it would be creatively fulfilling for them. If you check out some of the screens for the the visual novel portions of the game, mm-hmm. they have like really nice like sunbeams in them. Like they tried. Like this is a yeah. beautiful game. I'm really excited. I cannot wait. This is a beautiful game. Eighty percent story. I don't even. I don't even mind. That's fine. Yeah, it's kind of like uh. Is it, so it's like that that Sentinels game I haven't beaten. How far are you in it? I only finished like one chapter, and then review game came up. Mm, I know yeah. I have to go back to it. Everyone says it fucking rules and loves it. I will go back eventually. It it's a mind fuck towards the last few chapters. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of I don't know. You have to, you have to be there. Your your brain has to be there for it. I'll probably restart it when I play it. Definitely, if you forgot anything, yeah. yeah. Um, Digimon Survive, resounding, yay, yay! Please. Give it to me right now. Give it to I've me been, right now. I've been waiting for this. My blood. I've been waiting for this goddamn game for years. Uh, and uh, that's it. <laughs> I just want to know a weird Digimon story. Yeah, of course. I was, I was on Facebook the other day, uh, and I got a recommended video, and it was from Chinese state-supported media, which was, I was like, "That's odd." And it was a dog riding a skateboard while Butterfly played from Digimon Adventure One, <laughs> and I was like, "This is very strange." <laughs> but you know what that video fucking ruled because it was a dog riding a skateboard to butterfly (laughs) i need to see it i i I probably couldn't find it again but and i think i think the funnier part is is that i don't know if the person who edited it knew that that song where that song came from they just kind of found it on the internet just stumbled (laughs) stumbled across stumbled across um man i can't believe we're already in july that's crazy this year is uh, flying yeah, by. It's going on by. I've done, a, especially, like, I went from student to intern to associate editor to senior editor. Like, my, I haven't, I haven't paused this year. It's been a crazy year for old Spence. It's been a crazy year. Crazy. So I'm, uh, I'm having the time of my life. Mm, I'm glad. You deserve it. I do, don't I? Yeah. If anybody... Anybody exactly. does. Yeah, exactly. Um, so thank you everyone for listening to episode thank 69 you. and bearing with us. Uh, you fire? I know this, you do. Shut up. Leave him alone. You're harassing him. I'm not harassing him. You're harassing him. I tweeted him earlier today. Well, well, well. Because he tweeted me. Seven fire doesn't tweet me. This is awkward. Yeah, I guess that goes to show which one of us he prefers. I think people are just a little intimidated by my knowledge, by my video game knowledge. 
I think people just think you're weird. I think uh, they're like, wow, this guy knows too much. I think I'm just the approachable dad figure of the podcast. Yeah, I see. I'm the... I'm the uh, no one wants to bug me. They know I'm in my emails. They know I'm delegating. They know I'm planning. I'm always well, strategizing. Like that, but they also know that I care and that uh, I like them. Also, you well, and also no one talks to you on Twitter. So it's like you just talk to anybody, you know? I mean, what? <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, maybe you're just a little too approachable. I mean, huh? I mean, hmm. I community manager, community manager at PlayStation liked my tweet today. So I mean, that's fine. I, that's fine, I guess. I've, I've had lots of cool people see me because I'm so approachable. But yeah, it's, it's funny. Cool. It's funny how you can't name one. Your thing. It's funny how you can't name one. Right uh, now. Justin Roiland, uh, Naomi Kyle, uh, Naomi Kyle. That is a that is a name I have not even that's yeah. crossed my mind in the past eight years. Uh, who else has tweeted me? Uh, let's see. Uh, Jesus Christ, Goku. <laughs> Goku. Uh, Son Goku. Son, Son Goku. <laughs> uh, you know the president. Uh, the president. Which the one though? That I've been live for so far. Bill, Barack, Donald. Donald, even Joe. Donald. I love Spanish. And frankly, I could I could listen to the qualified game chat, and you could get rid of the you Rosario. Have, I don't you care have about no him. No idea what Donald Trump sounds like. I don't care. About I don't that. care about Spencer Legacy. Spencer, frankly, this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Spencer's going to make his own podcast, and no, I'm going to be there. I'm going to give a, to the Patreon. A- I'm going to give to it. I'm going to stop. Everybody stop listening to unqualified game chat. Cause it sucks. It sucks. It's, <laughs> like, it should be canceled. it's like you have the, it's like you have the words. I can't you... do his voice, but I can do his mannerisms. Yeah. The mannerisms you got like, like the common stuff. You'd always say like, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that Azario is, uh, uh, frankly perverted. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> and, uh, we don't like that. We don't want that. No. Uh, well, before Todd B stops listening <laughs> to us, cause we're... <laughs> if we fusion danced, we would do the perfect Trump voice. Cause you have the voice and I have the yeah. mannerisms. Uh, we love you all. Poor Thank Todd you. B. He's been harassed. I man. know it's fucked up. I'm sorry, Todd. You're my favorite. Todd. Or my, my ride or die as you will. Wow. So <sighs> he only cares about Todd Sabinfire. Just like that. Okay. See you later, everybody. Bye, everyone. Uh, see you at Anime Expo if you're there. I won't. <laughs>